So everybody's showing pictures of their beautifully manicured gardens. I thought I would show you my garden. A wild, weedy mess. The asparagus is almost over. There's a few that can still be picked. And that'll probably be our last meal of asparagus. And over here, while I was doing some weeding, I found some volunteer asparagus that fell off from the seeds last year. And a volunteer tomato plant. Uh, I think this may be those tomatillos. And I was looking for, I was hoping some of my amaranth would have reseeded itself over here. This one here is borage. It's one of the first perennials that I planted in my garden. But the weeds are definitely taking over. And whatever these flowers are, I planted last year and they are everywhere in the garden so I'm not certain what they are. If any of you guys know let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking maybe Cosmos but I'm not certain. This is my carrot bed. I do have some tomatoes that are growing in the back. There's a little bit of dill in here. And the carrots are over here. I only have them planted in that corner, but they're coming up nicely. I still have this whole section here to plant. I'm not certain what I'm going to be planting in there. Volunteer seeds that come up from the cilantro I had planted in this bed last year. Tiny lavender plant. And I think that's a lemon thyme over there. In this corner. This lettuce is about ready to be picked. I did not plant this. This is just what come up last year, or from last year, seeded itself. What are you doing, kitty kitty? What? I know. So this is a stray cat that showed up about two weeks ago during a storm. So we've named him Stormy. But he's got to stay outside till we can get him neutered. Just a weed of sorts. I've got lamb's quarter that I leave in. I don't like this viney stuff. I think it's very pretty, but I don't want it spread everywhere. I'd like other things binding up. So I do take that one out. If it has any really good medicinal uses or something, please let me know. And I'll probably let a few grow in here. Like the dandelions, I leave. When I generally go pick weeds, I pick these up. I like them to where I can get a good handful. And then I toss them over into the goat's pen. This is a thistle that I'm letting, I'm going to let go to flower. And then I'll dig it up. If you've never f smelled a thistle flower, you should try it sometime. It is so sweet smelling, sweeter than a rose in my opinion. Over here I've got some sunflowers, garlic, peas are starting to grow up and vine up. There's some dill down in here. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite plant here. Well, I have lots of favorite plants. They all have good uses. The bugs out here are horrendous. I don't know if you can hear them buzzing around, but I'm getting chewed up. But these, you just pick one off. Chew it up. They're not bad in flavor. I wouldn't say they're great, but... And then put it... Wherever you got a bite. And in no time at all, you never really even get the itch. It takes away bee stings, all kinds. 
So I leave that weed in here. I think this is jewel weed. And I'll leave it grow for a while and then I'll pull it. I've got lots in here. What else is growing in this mess? Lots more dill down here. More sunflowers and peas. Here's a little bit more garlic. So my plan is to, in this corner here now, this, we're in the far corner of my garden, is to plant a fruit tree. Probably some che a cherry tree. This bed doesn't look too bad, but I had all of this black stuff over it until I planted these green beans in here. And they're doing well. Here I want another cherry tree. And more sunflowers, some more bulbs. I will be planting some more garlic through here. This bed is overtaken with weeds as well. I did plant watermelon in here and okra. And I don't think anything grew anywhere. Although over here, they did see, ugh, I did see some okra plants, but they're buried again in some weeds. So here's one. Down here, I do have a whole lot of mullein plants that I'll probably just leave go and let them grow. So this year, these are all babies. They fell off of the one plant I had last year. But I'll let these grow and then I harvest these leaves to make into a tea. And I also harvest the flowers to make into a cough syrup. This row too is full of weeds. But it's another row of green beans. And they're actually up here pretty good. I just haven't weeded in a few weeks. And we've been getting rain like every other day. In fact, we're fixing to start raining and then rain for about seven days straight. And I also watch my grandkids Monday through Fridays. I don't get much done. On those days I pretty much take care of the animals, spend a few minutes in the garden, and then it's just taking care of grandbabies. This row here is two different kinds of cabbage. That did pretty well. This is one of the things that I winter sowed in milk jugs. That's something new that I tried this year. It worked really well for the cabbage. I also tried it with broccoli and, what is that up there? Cauliflower. My broccoli did not do much. I think there's three sad looking plants in here, maybe just two now. And then this is where the cauliflower starts. And I've got a few, not a whole lot. 